What do we expect from the Sussexes in 2024? Well, 2023 was a train wreck of a year. Huge ups, huge downs and polarising opinion on almost every matter. It's been a year since the release of Harry's memoir, Spare. I often wonder if there's been any introspection about that particularly ridiculous book. While it may have been a bestseller, it was a millstone for Harry's credibility and was the subject of much ridicule throughout the year. Special mention, of course, to our dear friends at South Park. Now, it's only early on in 2024, but we have heard whispers that the Sussexes do have new projects on the cards with Netflix. They've been in contact with the palace to check on the health of the King and the Princess of Wales, and they're already focused on the next Invictus Games. These are all, si these are all signs of things heading in the right direction. Now, it's the much-needed reset we've spoken about. We know how great Harry is when he focuses on things he's truly passionate about. You'll recall him speaking at the Invictus Games last year. These games are not solely about medals, PBs or finishing lines. They are about overcoming any and all perceptions that have held you back. Can we please have a bit more of that? Now, living in California, the Sussexes are obviously more celebrity than royal in the traditional sense, despite their royalty being the source of their celebrity. But anyway, that said, they still have material influence and there is still plenty of scope for them to advocate for worthy causes. Maybe and hopefully this year will be different. Maybe King Charles's health scare has made Harry realise there are more important things in life than throwing barbs at your own family for commercial gain. It's a new year and I'm prepared to be optimistic about the Sussexes. Let's see what the year brings us.